All right, hello people. Welcome to a new video where today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to collect the most amount of Dark Seal chests in the fastest possible way. So, no more dilly-dallying, I'm just gonna get straight into it so that I don't bore you. So, we'll start off with the first part. So, the brig. You don't wanna be going into the Dark Sea with a catch or a sailboat or any of those stupid smaller boats because they will just get destroyed in the Dark Sea. Collect up 20K, buy yourself a brig and the best possible setup for your brig is a speed setup. You don't want to be going for massive amounts of damage with your cannons. They'll slow you down. We're trying to go for speed here. So I'll link down below Aim Cell's video because Aim Cell does give a really good explanation on how to make your brig the fastest it can possibly be. But if you don't want to watch that whole video, I'll give you a quick brief explanation. So you'll want to go for a swift hull. So swift scroll, add it onto any hull that you want, but primarily he uses a wooden hull as that is the lightest hull and will get you the faster speed. And you will also want a brisk archaic sailcloth. Brisk is another speed uh, attribute that you can add onto it with a, another scroll, a brisk scroll, which you get from the dark seal chest. So you will have to go and farm dark seal chest before you can go and get these items. However, you can just farm bronze chests to get some smaller accessories to your boat and then you'll be able to just go into the Dark Sea, go and farm them and then come back. So, you will want Enizor, upgraded version, you can find him at Frostmill. And you want Edward Kenton, who you can find over at Elm Island. Make sure that he's upgraded. You don't need weapons because you're not going to be fighting any ships out in that area. You don't need a mortar, you don't need your cannons or your carronades or anything like that. And personally, I like to use the Ravenna crew because it gives extra stability to the boat, which also helps out with the amount of health that your brig has whilst you're in the Dark Sea because it just stops it from taking as much damage. So that's it for the brigs. Let's go into the actual farming route itself. First point is sail into the middle of layer one and no further. The reason why you don't want to sail any further than the middle of layer one is one, you've got two different sides. You've got the right and the left and all you do is just sail across layer one. You don't want to sail into layer two or out of layer one. You want to sail across it. It gives you the best possible chance of finding islands on the left and the right side. One way you'll end up either going back into the dark sea further or you'll be going into the Paleon Rift and you don't want to be sailing too right for the same reason depending on which way you're going. Now let's go into the actual dark sea itself. You want to make sure you're avoiding the tornadoes, you want to make sure you're avoiding the waves, and you want to make sure that you go for the ships, the abandoned ships. The reason why you don't go any further into the Dark Sea is because if you go into Insanity 1 Layer 2, you will end up meeting Atlantean ships. They are kind of rare, but they will appear and they are very dangerous to fight against. So you don't want to be doing that. We're trying to farm quick. Make sure to keep sailing through Layer 1. Check all of the abandoned ships that you can, because now that they have changed how the chests work, all chests are now treasure chests instead of being treasure bags or uh, ingredient bags or any of that sort of crap, because it's just, it was confusing. So they've changed it up. They've made it easier. Check all the chests because you could get some good items out of them. And on the boats, there is possibly a chance for one dark sealed chest, which I know doesn't sound like much, but it's always worth giving it a check. Now, check every island that you can along the way, unless it's difficult to climb. Now, the reason why you don't want to be trying to climb up a really difficult island to climb is because if you've parked your boat wrong or you've done something stupid like parked it too far out or any sort of things that could drop you into the ocean, that's bad because if you're climbing up a hard to climb island, you're most likely going to be T-jumping up the island or you're going to fall off and you're going to be dropping into the dark sea with no stamina, which means you'll sink to the bottom and you'll drown, which you don't want. You do not want to have that happen. So you should not fight the Atlanteans. The Atlanteans are difficult to fight and there is no point in doing it if you don't have to. Yes, they may be guarding some dark seal chests, if they're on those little pedestals. However, if they're in a house, all you need to do is climb up the house on one of the walls. Make sure not to go in front of the Atlantean. 
in any areas they can actually see you. As long as you're above the Atlantean, it cannot actually recognize you. It will still have the question mark pop up above it, but that just means that it knows you're in close proximity, but will not start attacking you. You don't want that. Climb up the wall, make sure to be stealthy, get onto the top layer, grab as many chests as you can, and just head out of there because you do not want to be fighting them. Now, the final point that I will tell you is to set yourself a goal. If you are confident in the Dark Sea, go for as many chests as you want. However, I like to set myself at at least 20 Dark Seal chests before I head back because that I find is a reasonable amount. If I get underneath that amount, I don't mind as long as there's only a few under that amount. However, if I get over that amount, that's perfectly fine. I am glad with that. Make sure to get yourself some luck potions, some water breathing potions, strong ones, by the way, just in case you do fall into the dark sea because you do not want to drown. Because your boat will despawn and all your dark sea chests will be at the bottom of the dark sea and will just despawn. Water breathing potions just in case you do fall into the dark sea and you can make it back up. Luck potions so that when you open up your dark seal chest you have the best chance of getting the best items. So I'm going to be releasing a fishing video soon which will have basically the best enchants and the best rods to use. Also make sure that you are bringing along warding potions if you decide to go any further into the dark sea. Say layer 2 or layer 3 you would want to make... not layer... Layer 3 or layer 4. I'm getting confused between insanities here. But yeah. Layer 3 or layer 4, you would want either warding gear or warding potions. And yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how you farm the fastest possible way to get as many Dark Seal chests as you can. Sail into the middle of layer 1. Don't go any further than that. There's no point. Check all of the ships that you find, all the abandoned ships. Make sure to check them for Dark Seal chests. Open up all the chests that are on there. Find any islands that you can. If the islands are pain in the ass to get up, don't bother and just keep on farming don't give up on the farm if you get stressed out with it obviously if you get stressed out with it go and do something else go and farm something else because it is just it's a good way to just de-stress and then get back to it you don't want to be annoying yourself with it and then just getting bored don't fight the atlanteans <laughs> that's the last thing i'll say so cheers for watching There'll be a fishing video up soon where I'll talk about how you can fish in the best possible way. There will also be a link in the description to Aim Cell's video about the fastest possible brood that you can make. So that will be there. I will be doing streams regularly now, much more regularly because I'm starting to feel better now and I'm getting my voice back and everything. So that will be happening. So come in and check them out. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one in a bit.